Next witness I call forward is Amy Palmero, Chair of Ohio Ed Tech Agencies. As she's approaching, I just want to remind all our, uh, our audience and witnesses, and I mentioned earlier, um, we do have 20-some testimonies left. Um, and please don't take this as, as your issue. It's not important when I ask people to summarize or anything like that. It's not that at all. Um, obviously, we've heard out from a lot of people, so hopefully we'll uh, just keep moving expeditiously. But welcome to committee. <laughs> Thank as you. challenging as it was as you, to, for, to get you here, I guess. How's that for an entrance? There you go. Uh, thank you, Chairman Smith, Vice Chair Schering, Ranking Member Dree Haas, and members of the House Finance Committee for the opportunity to testify. My name is Amy Palermo, and I'm the Chair for the Ohio Educational Technology Centers, <laughs> as well as Executive Director for ITSCO, one of the eight ed techs in the state. I oppose the current legislation as it relates to the ed techs in Section 253.150, and I'm here today to respectfully request the originally proposed flat funding be restored. This is the same funding we received in FY15 with no increases in state funding. The Ohio Educational Technology Center served the professional development needs of teachers and administrators as it relates to educational technology. With a focus on pedagogical practices, ed techs provide instruction on effective and meaningful applications of technology. Annually, we provide over 45,000 teachers face-to-face -face in online professional development in use of classroom technology and exceed 120,000 hours of professional development delivered to P20 educators. We need more funding to reach more teachers, not less. I began my career as a middle school teacher. I taught seventh grade language arts. In my third year of teaching, my school became the first in the district to become an all-inclusion building. This means that all students with all abilities were taught in the same class, and it was terrifying. Along with the rest of the faculty, I thought it was ludicrous and couldn't imagine how it would meet the needs of kids that couldn't read alongside of advanced placement kids. But it is my nature to face challenges head on with everything I've got. It turned out to be the most profound year of my educational career, an experience that changed the trajectory of my life. Through the use of technology, I was able to create lessons that met the diverse needs of my learners. We used videos to act out vocabulary lessons, cameras to document learning, and voice recorders that doubled as practice for reluctant readers and teaching aids for students with disabilities. And this was quite a few years ago. There's a lot more technology now. Because of the technology, my student that could not read because of a degenerative eye condition made 100 on a reading test, and he cried because he hadn't passed a reading test in two years. And it wasn't just students with disabilities that were successful, it was all students. And technology played a critical role in the success of my students. The importance and critical nature of technology in education has only grown since then. The Ed Tech Centers continue to bring new and impactful educational technology experiences to educators. This current year, we focused on Ohio's new learning standards, online resources for new graduation options, and developing skills for next generation testing. I have included a professional, well, I have, if you would like, I have a professional development catalog that will give you an idea of the kinds of services that we offer. In addition to that, uh, the, uh, and I will tell you this is ITSCOS because we're Central Ohio, but the other ed techs produce similar types of programming. Um, a few specific examples of the ed tech initiatives include preparing students for online assessments. In this face-to-face -face and online course, teachers learn how to use technology to strengthen their everyday curriculum while providing skills that will also strengthen students' preparedness for online testing. With an emphasis on student growth, Rather than the technology, the EdTech professional development teaches uh, how to help districts successfully implement online testing. Tech coaching for Info Ohio is another service. Info Ohio provides valuable resources that would often go unused without meaningful professional development opportunities, opportunities that build skill sets for integration. We provide district technology coaching. 
Many districts do not have the internal resources to support the long-term professional development needs of their teachers and rely on ed techs to provide long-term professional development. We're also an ongoing help center. The favorite thing that I get to say when I teach a class is that we're still here for you. Even if you are done with us for today, months from now when you need help practicing what you've learned today in the classroom, we are here for you. Whatever the need, Ohio Ed Techs are there to help in the classroom teacher. We don't deal with wires, we deal with learning. A 42% reduction means our classroom visits and the number of teachers we are able to reach, reach would be cut almost in half. We are asking that the flat funding amount of $1,778,879 as included in the executive budget be restored. As I stated previously, we provide a wide array of technology integration topics to schools, some of which include internet safety, use of technology tools such as smart boards, iPads, and Chromebooks, partnering with Info Ohio to share free reading sources for third grade reading, and much more. Research shows 80% of all jobs already require the use of technology. If we are to prepare students for their future, we must first prepare teachers. That is what this funding supports. Training to help teachers help their students prepare for a better life using the tools of technology. At this time, if it is okay with the chair, I would like to invite Chris Dice, the Technology Director for Marysville Exempted School District to share their experiences with ITSCO. No, I included in my testimony, but I'm new to this. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, they can proceed. Um, we just need any, if there's written testimony from them, we, we will need to receive that. Okay. Thank you, Chairman, Vice Chair, Ranking Member Drehaus, um, members of the House Finance Committee for the opportunity to testify today. My name is Christopher Dice, and I am the Technology Director for Marysville Exempted Village School District in Ohio. Uh, I'm here today in opposition to the budget cuts, um, and I want to support the flat funding for uh, the ed techs, including at ITSCO. ITSCO is the Education Technology Center that services Marysville schools, and their training and their services have proven to be invaluable to us. There are a few districts, just a few, in the state of Ohio who employ full-time instructional technology coaches to work with their teachers to develop engaging, rigorous, and aligned activities to improve the quality <coughs> of education in their district. There are many more districts, including Marysville, who do not have a budget to support this additional technology staff. We rely heavily on ITSCO to provide these services, to train our teachers and to prove the, improve the capacity we have to meet the needs of our children. Cutting the funding at ITSCO is cutting funding that directly improves instructional practice of 30,000 teachers in the state of Ohio, which in turn improves the learning for over 100,000 students around the state. I could spend all day talking to you about all the tools ITSCO teaches on, tools like Google and iPads, digital whiteboards and Chromebooks and Microsoft, and many more, but it's not about the tools. It's about the learning. It's about how the tools improve the learning. It's about also improving how teachers utilize those tools that they have available in their classroom. I know you agree, every student deserves a trained, prepared teacher. ITSCO's funding is vital to this mission for Marysville and so many other districts in Ohio to prepare our teachers. Integrating technology to improve learning is fundamental in the current and future generations of students. ITSCO collaborates with districts to ensure our schools have customized training and the capacity to meet the needs of the students. We could talk about the instruction also that ITSCO provides instruction not only on tools, but skills like online research, internet safety, and responsible social media use. Technology moves fast. We all know that. We understand that. But districts have trouble keeping up with it. ITSCO stays on top of it. That is what they do. They research the trends, they find what works, and they share that with districts in Ohio. I can only attempt to tell you how important that process is to districts like Marysville. Marysville appreciates the services that ITSCO provides to our teachers, and I hope the Finance Committee acknowledges that and maintains the flat funding for EdTech Centers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there questions from the committee? Seeing none, thank you for your... Oh, Representative Cup. sorry. Um, I just want to know if you can... You don't need to stay up there, but if you can show me where to find that. 
Uh, I'd like to take a look at it. Yes. Um, uh, and you can just show me and we can move on. And, the and I have here, I don't know if this is helpful, and a proposed amendment language that outlines that. Will that? Share that with him as well. Thank you. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Appreciate your testimony.